Here is a photo of a Boxster S with a center radiator installed from the factory. The rubber air guide inside connects to the inner retaining piece and channels air through the center radiator. Here are most of the parts you will need for your center radiator installation. The parts are available from Pelican Parts either as a kit or individually. This image shows the new center radiator with the upper and lower mounting brackets installed. This side of the radiator faces the rear of the car. Pay close attention to the tabs on the center radiator brackets. The top tab attaches near the front and the bottom tab attaches near the rear of the bracket. When installed, the radiator will be facing slightly upwards at an angle. Here are some installation details for mounting the front radiator. In the upper left, I found that the radiator bracket leaned against the air conditioning hose and would probably damage it if it wasn't protected. So I used a small section of old radiator hose and zip tied it around the air conditioning hose to protect them from wear. The lower right insert photo shows the proper orientation of the speed nut fasteners. The chassis should already have these small mounting brackets built into it. Here's a useful diagram showing the routing of the hoses for the three radiator setup. As shown in the photo, you need to replace the lower radiator hose on the right side of the car and the upper radiator hose on the left side of the car. The center radiator taps into the hoses for the left and right radiator and provides additional cooling. One of the problems with the upgrade kit is that the pipes on the regular Boxster are smaller than those on the Boxster S. The trick is to cut the hoses and create a step down hose using a copper pipe reducer available at any good hardware store. The outside diameter of 1.25 times 0.875. The regular hose and the larger boxer hose are shown side by side. Cut both hoses in similar points. Insert the reducer into the large diameter hose. Join the two pieces together with secure hose clamps. These two photos show the left and right side of the inner wheel wells with the larger radiator pipes installed, yellow arrows. In addition to the larger diameter pipes, you will also need to install the plastic large diameter pipe retainers, green arrows. One end of the pipe attaches to the new three-way radiator hose, red arrow, and the other end of the pipe attaches to your custom-made hose with the reducer piece installed, blue arrow. Shown here is the center radiator installed just prior to putting the front bumper cover back on. Note how the air conditioning hoses have been wrapped with the protective rubber, old radiator hose, since the upper center radiator bracket tends to wear into them. If you wish to save some money, you can drill out the opening for the front radiator yourself and reuse your old bumper cover. Line up the retaining piece with the inside of your front bumper cover. It should be centered between the left and right openings and fit flush against the curve at the bottom of the cover. Use a marker, trace the outline of the opening and the slots for the retainer as well. Carefully using a Dremel tool and a milling bit, you want to cut your cover. It's okay if you're not 100% accurate as there is a front trim piece that fits over the opening and frames it. This shows the opening cut out along with all of the small slits needed for the retaining piece. Test fit the outer trim piece and the inside retainer to make sure that they fit together well. Here is the final assembly and what it will look like before it's painted. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.